Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting video. Today is day 3 of 75 days coding challenge and we are going to start polyfills of array methods. We'll start from the easy ones like push and pop and we'll go all the way to the hard ones like filter and reduce. Because polyfills of array methods are very important for any JavaScript interview, right? So let's do it. But stay with me. Stay with me for another 72 days because this challenge we have JavaScript ko kacha chaba ke kha jane wale hai. So let's go. Before starting, you know what to do. Subscribe, man. Kya baat hai, sir? Kya baat hai, sir? Kya baat hai? Ye baat hai. So let's start with the push polyfill. Okay. So if I ask you, what does push method do? You will say it adds up the element at the end of the array, right? But is that it? Because it does not. It will do lot of other things like if I call the object on the any primitive type or any null or any other object. So what it will do? Because we can call right the push method using that prototype. We can call on other things also. So let's understand the push method internally how it works then only we'll start doing the polyfill right so for the array it is simple as that if i create an array with the value one two three and i can you know directly use the push method on it i can pass multiple comma separated values to the push method you know so it will add all the elements at the end of the array but how it will you know check the length property on the array which is 3 for this indexing 0 1 2 3 so from the length of the object in case it is array so this is 3 index so from length it will start it will start adding the first element 4 it will increase the length 4 it will add the another element 5 and it will return the updated length in this case it is 5 so updated length it will return but what about any object if i create an object with the name maybe shubham okay and if i call the push method on this we can call it using prototype array and then we can make the use of call method which we have already learned and in the call method i will pass the value of this as this object so it will be get called for this one and i can pass the other arguments which i want to you know push on this object so in this case what it will do it will do the same thing it will search for length property on it because in array we have length property but in object we don't have any length property right so if they, it is undefined, it will make it zero. It will, you know, make it zero. And then it will start at adding up elements at zero index. It will add four, then at one, it will add five. So and at the end, because it also update the length, right? So uh, let's uh, here it also update the length, right? Array dot length. So it will also update the length for this object. If there is no property of length, it will add the property. Otherwise, it will update the existing one. So here it will update the length to two because there are two elements which we added earlier. The length was zero. So for this object, it will add the properties like this. Name will be there. It will also add the property of length with the value 2, right? So this is what it does for any, you know, mutable objects. But what if I am passing any immutable? Because push method, you know, update the value of the object or array, whichever we are passing, it updates it. It won't return the new array if we use the push method. So it update the our given array. But if we give, you know, if we call push method for any string, which is immutable, right? What it will do? It will throw an error that cannot, you know, 
update or any cannot call any this push method on any string or maybe cannot call push method on any immutable object so this is what it will do so right so let's see me let me first you know um, give you the practical of this we did for the array and an object so let me create the array first I'll write one two three okay I will do the array dot push this is simple as that console log array okay it also return the length if you console log it now it will also return the updated length so it will do the it will console the five but let's say I have one object with name property on it and I call the push method on it on this object I will pass 4 and 5 see it does the same thing it adds up the value at 0 1 and it also adds up the length property so we have seen this let's you know go to the things we need to consider while creating the polyfill first we need to do the handling for null if the you know value if we are calling the push method for any null it should throw an error because it cannot be called for null for primitive type like for number and for string we need to wrap it around their wrapper classes because we need to turn them into the object like for number we will need to number wrapper class for string string for boolean boolean so we can use make use of this object and we can pass the value we are receiving for this because it will convert them to their respective wrapper classes and once it is you know it got converted to the object we'll search for the length property okay we'll search for length property but here we need to do one thing we need to make use of unsigned right shift operator unsigned right shift operator so basic signed uh, you know basic uh, right shift operator what uh, does like let's say i have one number with 32 bits and i have one zero one zero at last okay so if i right shift it with two two bits it will you know move uh, two bits to right so it will become one zero and here it will be updated as zero 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 okay because two bits have been shifted to right now it will change the number this right but this is normal right shift operator and if i have some you know negative value and then if i am doing the right shift it will keep the negative bit on the normal right shift but we are using unsigned right shift here you know which will turn all the leftmost bits to zero so this is unright right shift so it will change the negative numbers negative numbers to positive to positives if there are any uh, because this operator is the only one which does not accept any big int you know which are out of range for any uh, you know safe integers because length should be in the range of safe integers but it if it is a big int that's why we are using it here so that it can you know make it make them into the range convert it so big uh, unsigned right shift does not accept big int values so it, it will keep the value in the range it will keep in range so for the length we will do the right shift like uh, with the zero bits because we don't want to do the shifting part we only you know want to convert the negative values to positive and for uh, you know the out of range value into the range so that's why we are you know using this unsigned right shift but with zero because as if we use it with any value it will change the number it it will change the you know correct numbers also so that's what we need to do for the length 
वंस वी हैव द लेंथ वी विल लूप ओवर द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स वी विल लूप ओवर द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स बिकॉज वी कैन पास एनी मल्टीपल कॉमा सेपरेटेड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स टू पुश मैथड सो वी विल लूप ओवर ऑल ऑफ दैम एंड वी विल कीप एडिंग ऑन द लेंथ आई मीन ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट सो बेस्ड ऑन द लेंथ सो वट एवर लेंथ Uh, was there let's say for an array i have three length so i will start adding from the length index and uh, will add the arguments i and will update keep uh, you know updating the length so it adds up the value uh, one by one at the end we need to update the length of the object update the length of the object and return it right one thing we did miss was we need to handle uh, the string part also handle the string case also because in for string we will need to throw the error right so let's do the coding part let's write the code for polyfill let me comment this out so you already know first we need to check the prototype uh, you know before writing any polyfill if it does not exist in the prototype then only we need to create the polyfill so it is an function so first thing uh, what we did we'll do the check for the null right we'll throw the throw any error you want my push cannot be called for null maybe okay now we'll uh, convert it uh, into the object if it is primitive type it will wrap around its wrapper class if it is already an object then it will not be changed okay so now we will need to get the length let me use the length let here because we will change it later object dot length property we will search and we will do the right shift unsigned right shift you can read about it uh, this operator if you have any knowledge on bit manipulation then you will get it otherwise you will need to learn the bit manipulation first so this is it now we will you know loop over the arguments loop over the arguments update the object add sub uh, you know start from the length whatever length was there at start and uh, we will you know update it here update the length also because uh, otherwise it will keep adding it on the same place okay now we will need to update the length of the object right with the updated length and we will also return the length this is it i think we can check uh, you know check it for uh, this array and object we can make use of my push instead of push my push array dot my push it haven't this is uh, array dot my push 4 and 5 okay oh arguments dot length i need to make use now i think it will work yeah it is working fine it adds up the value on the object with 0 and 1 but what if i already have any length property on the object then it will start adding up from the length you know from the length let's say i have already the length property okay and if i do this it will add not start from zero it will start from whatever the length i have it will start from there two at two and three position it added four and five and it updated the length property as four right whatever i told you in the polyfill part it is doing the same thing for string i think for string case uh, we haven't done the handling for string case also we need to do the handling because i can call the 
push method on string also because currently my method it is not doing anything with the string and it is you know converting it into the object and trying to you know make use of uh, uh, trying to search the property length and then you know adding the property length but when we are consoling it it will it is uh, converting it back to you know, normal string so we'll need to handle this case if i use normal push method it will throw the error see here cannot assign to read only property length of object so we will need to you know make use of same thing we do need uh, we'll do the string check here separate string check so if i'm passing any string the type of can be uh, of this can be string right or maybe if i'm passing any string wrapper class the type of that string wrapper class won't be string it will be an object so i need to do the separate handling for this maybe i can make use of uh, object dot prototype and uh, you know two string method which will convert that uh, string object to the string but uh, the value for that will be if you have uh, converted any uh, string object to string you will see the value of that will be object and string i think so i uh, yeah so we can check this and uh, i will throw the new error maybe the same error cannot assign to read only read only property length theek hai abhi check karte hain my push ke liye string ka case it is throwing the error so the same i mean whichever error we added here it is throwing the same so this is the handling for it so i think our push polyfill is complete you know because we are you know we are not cramming the polyfills anymore we are you know learning the right behind the scene what is happening around this polyfill we need to learn that otherwise you know because in javascript interview any polyfill can be asked you can't cram every polyfill right you need to understand the behind the scene case and then you will you know whenever it comes in the into the interview you will remember it okay so that's it for the this video see you in the next and please 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 if you like this video please like shares and subscribe this channel because bahut kuch aane wala hai bhai log bahut kuch thank you